my name is Sarah and this is Twin Mirror. Welcome back! I've just dropped straight back into this game because I love it. I don't care that it's like 5 in the morning. I'm still going. I love this game. I really do. So, we are at the Cove, uh, which seems to be a refuge for those who um, are a bit down on their luck, lost their jobs after the mine closed. Um, some of them seem to have um, issues with the drug abuse potentially. And we are here with Anna. We're looking for Richard somebody slash Dicky slash D, uh, who we understand had a meeting with Nick on the day of his death. I think it was the day of his death. So we are here to track that lead down. We're going to see if we can find D. What am I hearing? I'm hearing music. I think I'm hearing music. Somewhere. Somewhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear that. I, my headphones pick up just like everything. So I can hear it just so well. Anyway, anyway, enough of me bragging about my headphones. Uh, we are going to yeet the shit out of this game today. That's what we're going to do. First, let's check out this uh, carving. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? Why not? My god. You're starting to sound like as judgmental as Max. Yeah, I'm definitely um, hearing. Is someone playing a radio, maybe? Unknown woman. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Oh. Ow. Oh, what the Watch fuck? It. The place is full of wood shavings. And why do you have an open flame? <laughs> I don't remember asking for your opinion. Oh my god. We're making enemies Fair already. Enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? Kayla. Um, Kayla, was she, was she within the article that Anna wrote about the cove? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Do you know Ethan? You enjoy whittling? I'm looking for Dickie. Oh, I don't know if we should just straight out ask about Dicky because if we look like a narc, and we are a narc, um, you know, they may not want to reveal where he is or something. I don't know, I'm a bit, um, oh, I don't know. Do you know Ethan? Let's ask about the whittling, why not? <laughs> you seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. I'm creating something out of nothing and then... Turning it into something else? That's Out of as close nothing. to real Isn't... magic as we can get. I don't know if it's so, nothing. Are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. Oh. It might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. He has a quad bike. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't mm. save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. Okay, that's yeah, gonna I feel be like him. you have to. Dickie must have one of those off road quads. It could still be here right now. Didn't she I just need more tell info us that? To figure out where Dickie is. Um, is that gonna be important later? That he's on a quad bike, it leaks gas, we might need a fire extinguisher or something. Um, what was that creating something out of nothing? A tree is nothing? I, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh, are they gonna be okay with us going through their stuff? Oh look! That's uh, the same pattern on that tapestry just there in the back. It's the same as the one that um, we bought with Anna, right? The one that she's got hanging in the bedroom. Oh, we can't look at this. Crafting bench used to work wood. Looks professional. Carving tools rough but functional. We can't inspect them further, it seems. There's nothing there. Hmm. Oh, I can't look at I can't look at that. We can't look at that and be all like, oh. 
We we bought that with Anna? No? Okay. Well, I thought it was interesting. I don't know why he wouldn't think it was interesting. Okay, which way is likely possible hideout? Which way is likely to be a trigger to the next scene? Let's go. Let's go over here. I forgot we've got the run button. Where is that music coming from? Inspect. Oh, are they going to be okay with us going through their shit? Oh, this is Reynolds. Um, uh, Justin? Justin Reynolds, was it? 357 Concord Street, Somerville, West Virginia? Guess that explains how we ended up here. Oh, why? What does it say? Let's have a look. Okay, Mr. Reynolds, I regret to inform you that West Virginia Coal Incorporated filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Oh, three days ago. Following a series of expensive lawsuits and fines that have brought about an untenable financial situation. Consequently, your current position will be laid off and all company operations will cease by the end of the week. All back pay and pay sick leave will be properly paid out. Insurance claims will continue actively through until the end of the month, but will then cease. Morton Hendricks, HR Director, New Virginia Coal. Oh... Hmm. Was Virginia Cole? Was that our uh, journal updated? Actually, I think it was updated, yes, just before I closed down the game and I didn't look at it. To welcome to the Cove, a commune of misfits, addicts, and small time crooks. This is where Dickie's supposed to be, the drug dealer who was Nick's informant. He might be the only person who can give us some answers about the murders of Nick and Dennis inquire about Dickie. Oh! Where are we, bug? Oh, Memento movie? Joan fell in love with the- oh yes, that's right. She wanted the comic Captain Corset, the pirate princess who sails the deepest sea trenches. Except Nick was in a hurry when it was his turn to have Joan for the weekend and he bought the wrong comic book. Oh? Comic fuel on Carter Road was out of Pirate Princesses. Joan was barely old enough to read, so Nick hoped it wouldn't matter. It did. She cried the entire day. Finally, it was you who read her The Adventures of Tardigrade Man. Mm. Compared to the... Oh, shit. Oh, compared to the swashbuckling witty princess, Tardigrade Man... Now, Tardigrade, I'm not 100% sure, but is it those little... um? Uh, they look like little... They're called bears or something, I think. They're, they're, like, they're nicknamed bears because they that's what they look like. Like under a microscope or something. It's going to tell me in like six seconds when I continue reading, isn't it? <laughs> okay, wasn't much to look at. He was old, bald, and had a scary purple face. Not an instant hit with Joan, but you, who saw the appeal of Tart Great Man from the, world, from the word go. Oh, okay. An unconventional hero from outer space. What's not to like? Think about it. You told Joan. Ice, fire, pressure, even poisonous radiation couldn't hurt him. Where the dinosaurs perished, Tardigrades triumphed. Suddenly she wasn't crying anymore but listening. Tardigrade man was half Tardigrade, half human, half alien. What? <laughs> like man, bear, pig. He's like half man, half bear, pig. And half man, half bear, half pig. <laughs> and he had a plethora of survival skills. Plethora means many. Joan liked that word. I have a plethora of friends now, she said. Who are they, you asked. Someone at school? No, you, Muley, and Tardigrade Man. Uh, another thing that Tardigrades can do is go dormant for 30 years. Oh, I didn't know that. And then wake up and pick up right where they left off. Wouldn't it be great if Frenchers could do that too, Sam? Okay. Um, I'm going to have to learn about them. Okay, I decided not to listen to the voice of my doubts anymore. I need to focus, concentrate. I need to be me. Oh, I don't know oh, about that. That was when we were in the car with Anna and uh, our alter self was talking to us at the same time Anna was talking to us. And we had the option to either uh, listen to Anna or to listen to ourselves. And um, I think the first instance I said was that we would just continue listening to ourselves. And that was fine. And then the next two instances, I was like, you know what, fine, let's listen to Anna. And apparently that means snap at our alter self, uh, who, of course, Anna can't see. And then we seem like an asshole. So 
Oh, it's a lady we just met. Unfriendly and distrustful. Observant too. Is it because she has the eyes of, the, of an artist or has life just taught her to fend for herself from a young age? Kayla. I'm pretty sure she was in the article. Tyler. Aggressive. Protects his turf and his people. Has some goodwill for Anna but none for me. We can't rotate him or anything. I, do, I wanted to check out his tattoos. Hmm. Hunting knife. Better not cross its owner. Winchester. Yes, that's a, that's a gun, right? Yeah. I don't know much about guns. Mining helmet. Former miner lives here. Need to be careful. Oh my god, we do. Magazines. Mostly about firearms and erotica. Um, wait, you mean together? Are they magazines on firearms and magazines on erotica or are they <laughs> combined? Probably combined. Don't be naive, Sarah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, should we chat? Bucket of sand. Oh, for putting out fires, probably? Oh, using sand to put out cigarettes, effective. Okay. Sports equipment. Cannibalized from spare parts. Right? We can't inspect that further. Uh, is this Tyler? Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. Oh, so let's chat. <laughs> What's up? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR. I'm. Oh, uh, Justin Reynolds Wait. or something, right? You're a <gasps> fucking reporter. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. Oh. That's a real talent. Okay, let's back Former away. Minor. Get the fuck out of my face. Okay, let's, um, or what? I'm trying to find Dicky. I need to ask you something. There is no back away option. Or what? I'm not asking, or what? Uh, he has like Winchesters and shit. I'm trying to find Dicky. I need to ask you something. I need to ask you something. Just here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Okay, let's back away, please. Okay. Um. Yeah. Heavy bag. If we walk near him, is that gonna bother him? Improves hand-eye coordination, generally used by boxes. Oh, really? Um, what's over here? Coast flag, made by the people here. What's on it? Miner's helmet, oh my God, we are fucked. They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting. What were we expecting? Um, what were we expecting? Okay, nothing here? Is there nothing here because there's nothing here or can we not interact with anything right now? Like if we can come back later maybe. There's Anna, so we want to avoid her. Can we walk on this? Nope, we cannot burn. Tire swing, must have been used by children. Oh, I don't know about that. I think adults might enjoy that. Probably? I don't know. I probably would not. Alright. I am still hearing that music. Is there a radio somewhere or not? Picnic table probably meant for hikers. Mm, how far can we go? We're not getting the Max Caulfield... Oh, this is Tyler, that's right. But that was his tent, wasn't it? Oh, no, I, I don't remember now. I don't remember. Uh, secondhand couch. Secondhand couch. Sec oh, come on. Big enough for a small group. Tyler set himself up nicely. This, this must be Tyler's spot. Should we chat or not? Oh, 
god, we're gonna get murdered. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Mm, my god. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Yes, we are. Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. Where is Dicky? Tell me how you know Anna. Why'd you end up here? Uh, let's not ask why you ended up here. I think we know, don't we? Uh, tell me how you know Anna. That would be through the story, right? But I'm curious to know. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Oh. Maybe you are not the type she normally hangs out with. Oh. You ever consider that? Oh. Trust me, I have. Why'd you end up here? Oh, we're gonna get murdered. We, we are not good with socializing. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Oh, are we Just dead? tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Can we die Either in this that game? Or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, oh, okay. Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Mm. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught oh. me a great recipe for bass. Oh, really? But you, you're just some asshole. Oh. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. Oh, so well. Beat it. Before I break your knees. Okay, yeah. That'll be Anna. No. Samuel, this is Bess. I'm trying to reach you regarding Dennis Gardner. Witnesses say you had a fight last night and you were looking for him all morning. We need to ask a few questions. Come down the station as soon as you can. Oh my god. Are we. No, we're not responding. Hmm. We can get reception on here. The clock's nice. ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. I. So oh. Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. Is that? I'm getting there. What Just is... need a bit more. What is Dickie that? could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Wait, every second actually does count? Can we run this way? I need to find out no. where Dickie's hiding. Oh. He's here somewhere. Well, let's head towards Anna then, I guess. I think. Have we explored everywhere? Possible hideout. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Hmm. Okay. Is there a way for us to find out? Lynette's mobile home. Looks ancient. Probably lived in it most of her life. Um. Oh, come on. Barbecue grill. Doesn't need electricity. Simple but practical. Simple and practical. All right. Uh, Anna? Oh, stairs. My one weakness. And this is Lynette. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. Uh, should we talk to Anna first? Oh, we can only she look at her. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. Hmm. Okay. I assume you're Lynette. And it was going well. It's just... I don't know. Hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh. This is Sam. He's a friend. We might we be used a to date. Uh, okay. <laughs> that much is painfully Was obvious. Was that necessary? Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Oh. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? Oh, we're causing trouble. We're getting in trouble. About Anna's article, do you know where Dickie is? Why did Nick come here? Oh, um... I don't know if we can ask all three of these. Why did Nick come here? Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? Did Nick ask about opioids? Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Why not? What about opioids? Do you say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you mm. must remain clean. About Anna's article? I assume we're going to ask about Dickie eventually. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Oh, Nick's when I was going track. through Nick's stuff. Oh. You never have any trouble with anyone. No one takes advantage. 
As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dicky lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. Where is this music coming from? It's really bothering me. I assume you guys can hear this. I don't know. Um, why did you create this place? What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. Are we going to run out of time but if we don't get straight don't to the point if we're not, short. like, direct? Your article brought Kayla Dickie here. will just run away. And even some generous donations have come in. And say, mwahaha. Did you get your answer, Sam? Generous donations? What kind of donations? Oh. Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of I, others. I was wondering if it's going to be the same donors who we saw in the park and earlier and in town. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dicky lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. Maybe we missed our no chance to ask about it. Educated guess. <laughs> Dicky's got to be in one of these places. Yeah. Um. Can we ask? I about see your back. I'll mm. go now. Thanks oh, for indulging me. Oh, okay. Me. Naturally. I thought we were going to ask about Dicky regardless. Maybe we missed our chance, and uh, we could fuck this up. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, can we chat? I don't she know. fits right in. Anna always fits right in. Mmm. Educated guess, hey? <laughs> okay. Um. He's in there. Is that... He's in there. Okay, we need to make... He's in there. How many... How many choices do we have? He's in there. Okay, trying to think. Wait, how many how many are there? It's just these four? Okay, what do we know about Dicky? What do we know about Dicky? Does it matter? Like can we can we go check all these places out or if we pick the wrong one Dicky's gonna get away? Oh uh, JR does not like us. A former miner might explain how he ended up living here. Has no levels for me. Yes. Oh, Lynette created this community. How far would she go to protect them? Benevolent, caring, but not to be messed with. Mmm. Okay. So what? One, two, three, four. Well, I don't know. We. Can... I, I thought maybe somewhere near... Oh, I don't know now. I don't know now. Um... Alright, let's, let's... Can we get a better look? Can we get closer at all? Um... This one... I need to find out oh. where Dickie's hiding. I know, He's I know. He's here somewhere. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I initially I was thinking near the water because I thought he was into fishing, but I can't remember if that was the case. Um, we might need to find one that's near a road. He has a quad bike, right? Is there is there a trailer with a quad bike out the front by any chance? I don't know if I was paying enough attention to all the clues we were given, so... And I just didn't ask anyone <laughs> about it. So, um, oh, I, I don't know. Um, how many, how many are there? What was it? Wait, is it just three? I thought it was four. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what's his name? Um, Tyler over here. He's like, you're not getting anywhere near his trailer. Like, can he actually physically stop us from walking there? 
If I say he's in there, am I going to think about it or are we just going to go straight there? I'm just wondering. Um, what, what do we... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so worried now. We don't have any information on him, I'm assuming, because we haven't met him. We haven't met Dickie. Uh, any chance we can talk to Tyler again? Okay. What about you? I told you buzz off. Uh, okay, well, if he has a quad bike, I assume he's going to be near a road. That, that one over there, it's very close to like the water, but it seems quite closed off, like it's around rocks and stuff. There's this one. This one has, it just has lights on outside. Wait, is that a quad bike just there? What is that? Is that a quad bike just there? I see something. I see something just there. I don't know what that is. Is that a bike? Is that a quad bike? Oh, that could be absolutely nothing. That could be absolutely nothing. You know what? It's got lights. It's got lights. It's near a road. Why not? I, I I honestly don't know. Quad. Isolated. Oh, it is a quad. Someone lives here. It is That's a quad. That's where Dickie's hiding. Nice. Time to pay him a visit. Good work, sir. You have a brain. All right, let's go. Can we walk here then? Oh, I only know you by reputation. And what I know, I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. I assume so this would have happened off, regardless of whether we up. met him and introduced ourselves or not. Go for it. I just want to talk to Dicky. Not looking for trouble. He's gonna say, well, trouble found you. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna get past these two if I wanna reach Dicky. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. <laughs> Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Okay. The cabin stands right in the middle of the camp. Far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. We have a plan? Oh? What's, what's the plan? What do we do? Hmm. How do we do this? We need to find Dickie, the drug dealer who was Nick's informant. But it's clear we're not welcome in the cove. The only way to talk to Dickie is to create a diversion in the camp. And approach him while everyone is busy. I must plan carefully. Confront Dickie, find ways to create a diversion. Search for hiding spots inside the cabin. Oh, okay. Once we get to his trailer, I assume, we need to find... Um, oh, a distraction. All right, Anna, I need you to put on a play. Anna? I don't know, what does he mean by we've got a... He's got a plan. Um, she look? looks like she's used to fending for herself. Yes. Anna? She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. Yes. Um, he said he has a plan. How do I start this plan? Um, metal closet? Add clue. What? Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. Enough room to hide in here? Wait, what? What are you... I'm very confused right now. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. In a panic? Um... 
It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. Okay, so we want to we want to create a diversion, hide until everyone's. Uh, okay. Um, but we also wanted to look at the tent. Um, potentially or not. I can't. I'm not sure. I thought I thought we were going to do something here. Inspect. Oh, book. Oh, Promethean tradition. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. Picture. Inspect. Oh, we're going to get in trouble, aren't we? Kayla and her family, I'm assuming. I wonder how long it's been since she saw him. Um... That photo was very familiar. Can we have a look at that or not? Find ways to create a diversion. Confront Dickie. Oh, there's nothing new here? That photo looked very familiar. Have we seen it before? Oh, I don't know. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Kayla. Is she... Yes, Ethan, that's what it was. It, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It just... I just realised. Oh my god, it's so stupid. Kayla is, is uh, Ethan's sister. I was so confused earlier when it was like, ask about Ethan. Because in that moment, I had completely forgotten who Ethan was. That photo. That that's We saw that photo earlier. Um, oh my god. When we were like chatting with Ethan and he said he has a problematic sister. Um, that's her. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, that just hit me. I'm slow. I'm very sorry. It is 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> It was even earlier in the last video when I completely missed it the first time around. Okay, diversion, diversion. Um, we could... Mm, um, hmm. Play some music. Are we still looking... No, we're not still looking for hiding these places, are we? We're looking for diversions. Hmm. What exactly? What exactly can we do? Uh, we can't interact with them anymore. No use. Oh! They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I wasn't I going near the trailer. I was going near him. Um. What? What exactly? Hmm. Barbecue? Could we cause an explosion? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, swimming? Can we invite everyone swimming? Everyone skinny dipping. Come on. I'm just gonna go back this way while you guys go skinny dipping. No reason. I honestly, I'm not sure. Um, was there anything else in in this cabin? Share food facilities. Is there nothing else in here? A diversion. A diversion. Diversion. I'm not sure. There was nothing in there. Could we... Mm, steal the car? Could we knock over the bear? Oh my god, we not, are we? All the flammable lacquer and varnish. <gasps> no! This thing catching fire is sure to divert oh attention. Oh my god, we're not going to do that. It's out of the way that? so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. Oh, we're not doing that? I just need to work that? out the exact details. Oh no, what? What? That is not our only option, surely. Oh my god. These shavings would be perfect kindling. 
Oh, this is awful. Are we actually going to do this? It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Oh, we, we are. That. We are such the an awful will be human being. Damage once the fire spreads. No other option. No other option. How? But if I Anna lit the wood like shavings, friends. the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Why can't Anna like go search or something? I just don't varnish. understand. Cans empty, probably used on that statue. Very oh, flammable my stuff. God. Well, are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? Really? I can get the fire going, but oh. it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire oh. needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Oh my! Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. Oh, really? Really? Oh, this is just awful. Is there anything back around here? By any chance? Okay, um, well, um, is there like water around here? There is, there's a hose. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, mm. she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Okay, well we can do that, I guess. Are we doing it right now? Or are we just look at the clues? Uh, the sand, the sand can be used. No? Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. Um, did you not watch Life is Strange? Uh, was there anything else in here? Magazines. Knife. Could we grab that and not get stabbed by it? Uh, so there's the hose. Oh, this wouldn't be used to put anything out, would it? The flag? No flag, no country. They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting. No. Um. What else? There's probably nothing here. Not enough water or anything. Hmm. What else could they put the fire out with? The lake. Oh, we're gonna have to get rid of the lake. Oh shit, this could take a while. They could easily use this to put that fire out and then we'll be fucked. So let's um let's get rid of it right now. I I don't know, is that it? It will it will tell us when we're done, right? So we haven't found everything it seems. Anything in the in the home. <laughs> we we can't break in or anything and check. Um what else? Couch cushions. Couch cushions. <laughs> um, what no else? Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to head over to... I need a distraction. I wanted to head over to, um, uh, uh Justin. No use. They no. won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I can't go to Justin? I need a distraction. Oh, um, anything in this bucket? No. So him, like uh, nothing. There's nothing here at all. No use. No. Okay. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. Um. What else then? I'm not sure. Oh, the truck. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dicky. We saw a fire extinguisher in the van earlier. If when? I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. That's it? Uh, wait, when did we see the fire extinguisher? I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. Uh -huh. I need Anna's help. Anna, can you help us burn down this refuge for the downtrodden people? Oh... I caused all their woes and I would like to hurt them some more. Anna, help us ruin these people's lives. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? Sidebar? We're not lawyers, are we? We're gonna need a lawyer I after this, it. though. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? 
Oh, something awful. Something awful. Screaming. Need a distraction to get to Dicky. What if people die? Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work. But it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. How awful. This is so awful. Okay, so this is what we're going to choose which path we want to go with. Right. So we want um, Anna to steal the keys first. Um, is that what we want? We want her to steal the keys first. Um, oh, we we have to select where to hide as well. Um, well. Okay, I, I have a thought, because I was considering we hide behind here, um, potentially, but if they've got no way to put out the fire, they might tear down these cloths, these um, curtains to try and like beat the fire out and we would be exposed. I don't know if that's overthinking it. Um, so... This is very obvious, but it might be our best shot. I feel like we would get spotted if we hide, if we chose to hide under here. Um, also, how far is this fire going to spread? What if it... I don't know. Um, I think... I think it's... I don't know. They could... I don't know. They could tear this down. They may not at all. Maybe I'm overthinking it. This this was going to be the, the place I chose, though. I was going to choose this spot, hiding in here. Um, because, one, this is so obvious. Two, the door may not close. Three, it might make noise when you try to open it and close it. Uh, this one, it won't make any noise when you move it. Um, it seems a bit more camouflaged. And we could slip in a lot easier. This, they'll fucking see us, right? I don't, I don't see any bit of benefit to hiding here. Um, unless it's like we come in on a certain angle and... I don't know, they see us going into here, you know? Like, they might be standing around nearby. Uh, but if they're going to be putting out... If they're going to be trying to put that out, they're going to go for the sand. And what else? The fire extinguisher. Hmm. Am I overthinking this? Am I overthinking this? Um, in the closet. We will go with the closet. Fingers crossed. Maybe he'll tell us if it's going to be uh, successful or not. I don't know. What is this? Oh, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Before, what should Anna do? Hide the keys or break the water hose? Oh, she can't do both? Oh, really? Wait, wait, wait. What's this? When to come out? Once alone, after JR last help. When the fire blazes. Oh. Well, these aren't, we're not, we're not confirming right now, are we? We're just selecting these before we like pre-construct it, aren't we? I don't know why I'm overthinking this so much. Um, we, I guess the water hose. I'm overthinking this too much, aren't I? After JR last to help. 
Once alone, when the fire blazes. After JR? Um, can we watch it first? Okay. That'll be, um... Oh, okay, so we... When the fire blazes? Okay, so someone someone noticed us, it seems. He hasn't moved yet, though. Oh, someone keeps noticing us. Oh, is someone going to the, co the closet? Is that it? Is someone going to the closet to look for something, maybe? And they spot us in there? Oh! Oh, I see, I see. I, oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. Okay, um, let's go behind the curtain then. Um. I see. I am overthinking this, definitely. As long as we don't have to QTE this later. Oh, they spotted us again. Once alone? That seemed the most obvious, but I thought it was too obvious, you know? Like, we'll be alone, but then there'll be someone, like, standing right outside at an inopportune moment or something, you know? Okay, so that's us hiding in there, and no one's going to try and grab the curtain while we're hiding? To beat away the flames? I'm overthinking this, aren't I? I'm overthinking it, but that's all I ever do. So is that the correct one? That looks like that could be it. That looks like that could be the correct one. So let's uh, let's go with it. <laughs> I always overthink things. Are we going to watch it how many times? Oh, okay, so she was grabbing a hose from there. I see, okay. Okay. That'll oh do my it. God. No one will see me get to Dickie. Oh, wait, we need to watch it again? time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. Time everything carefully, you mean we got to do- You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. No! Then trust me. <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. What do we need to do here? Do we have to actually do something or watch it unfold or what? All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Someone help! It's burning everything! Help! Something's wrong with the hose. I'm not getting any pressure. I'll be right there. Just hold on. Oh, please don't make me do Hurry. anything right now. Hurry, oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh, we are such an awful human being. We are so awful. We're so awful. 
Oh my god. Oh, Ethan, I met your sister and I destroyed her most treasured items. Oh, we are an awful, awful, awful human being. We are so awful. Um, you know what? <laughs> we are coming up to an hour. We're coming up to an hour and I don't know if we can get this done. Um, you know, too quickly. We might have to pre-construct another scenario where we got to burn this man's uh, home down or something so I'm gonna have to end it there thank you so much for joining me um I'm enjoying this I'm enjoying uh shattering their dreams destroying their refuge um oh my god this is awful this is awful we are an awful awful human being we really are oh but look um I was going to do my usual running around in circles thing, but I'm worried about triggering an event or something. So I'm just going to leave it on this uh, pause screen uh, as I wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like uh, if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. That really helps me out. That really does make a difference. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully we don't have to burn down Dickie's trailer. Um, who knows what else? Oh God, I feel so awful about Kayla. And I can't believe it, it just hit me. That she is Ethan's sister. Oh my god, that just... Uh, Ethan came up in the last video too, didn't he? Was it last video or this one? I can't even remember. But he came up in conversation and we didn't we didn't um, explore that dialogue option. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, i got to be more observant. I really have to be. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Uh, please do have an amazing day slash night slash whatever. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.